of is Bicozy.com is here. Bicozy.com is an American website with the biggest collection of chunky yarns for hand knitting. We're making this video and all the other videos and we have about 200 videos now on YouTube on our Bicozy channel. And uh, they're all about hand knitting and hand crocheting with big chunky yarns. We have uh, the biggest collection of chunky yarn in the United States and actually in the whole world. And we're making these videos to promote our chunky yarns. So today we will be using our speckled uh, Chanel in blue. And uh, we will be making the dog bed with our baby pink chunky Chanel. So here is my model. He is wearing this uh, beautiful coat that I made. So this is Wally and he is wearing this beautiful coat that we will be making today. He is wearing the blue color and I will be making a pink one today. So here he is. Sit, sit by me, come on. So here is the pink one that we will be making. The pink one is perfect for a baby uh, doggy and a blue one is perfect for a uh, baby boy. So this is the back side. This is the front side or the belly side. You see these two openings and this will cover the stomach. This will cover the back of the doggy. So you will need just one skein, guys. Just one skein of Bicozy Chunky Chanel yarn or Speckled Chanel yarn. We also have variegated colors. Uh, just go to Bicozy.com, grab some yarn and let's get started. Okay guys, let's get started. We will be using this baby pink color. And uh, before we start, as usual, we place yarn in front of us like that. This is the walking yarn, this is tail. We will make a knot on the end like that. And then cut the tail close to the knot and that will be preventing yarn from unraveling when used and especially when it's washed because this yarn can be washed. So what are we doing now? We are placing the yarn in front of us like that and then walking yarn goes on the top to make a loop. Insert your hand inside the loop, grab walking yarn and pull it out. Uh, you're pulling these two strings down and uh, the loop up like that. So you just made your first stitch and you can pull walking yarn down to make it a little bit smaller. We will make the first row uh, of stitches a little bit wider that the dog could put their head inside. So about inch and a half, maybe even two. Now insert your hand inside this uh, loop or first stitch, then grab walking yarn and pull it out. So you just made your second stitch. As you can see, it's about the same size as the first one. Now we will be pressing the bottom of the stitch, of the second stitch. We will be inserting our hand, grab walking yarn and pull it out. And we made third stitch. So we will be making a chain like in this uh, way, a chain of 12 stitches, guys. So press the bottom of the stitch. This way you're fixing the size of the stitch and then grab walking yarn and pull it out and try to make stitches approximately the same size. As I said, we are starting with 12 stitches and this is for the medium, uh, s kind of like small to medium size. My dog is 25 pounds. Uh, it's an American Cocker Spaniel. So if you have a dog similar size, that's what you will be making. If it's a smaller, then you will be starting with a, a smaller amount or less stitches. And if it, you want to make it bigger, then you will need to make it bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two. You need two. 12 stitches. So now when we have 12 stitches, what we will be doing, we will be flipping this chain on another side. And now we will be connecting it in a circle like that. When you connect it, 
in the circle, you will need to insert this tail inside this, not this stitch, but the previous stitch over here. So the tail goes inside this previous stitch. We have the stitch out. The tail goes in the middle. And we just connected the uh, cast on chain into the circle. What are we doing now? We will be knitting around. We will be using these little bumps uh, in the middle of each stitch. So we will not be using top of the stitch or bottom. We will be using the middle part of the stitch. We will lift it. We will insert our fingers, grab walking yarn, and pull it out. And we will make a stitch about the same size as this last one. Now, next stitch, top, bottom, we're using middle. Lift middle, insert your fingers, grab walking yarn, pull it out. Top, bottom, middle, insert your fingers, so your hand and make a simple knitting stitch. Why are we using this uh, bumps uh, of the, uh, the middle part of the stitch? Because that will give us this beautiful chain uh, on the top of the dog coat, okay? So that's why we're doing it this way. Don't miss any stitches. You need to have 12 stitches when you're done. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So here is the number 12. So we should not miss it. So now you can see that we have all the stitches that look knitted stitches. This last stitch or the first stitch uh, looks like it was purled. So what we're doing, we are unraveling this stitch. And then we're inserting our hand inside this stitch on the bottom. And we are making the stitch into the knitted stitch. Here we are. So what do we do now? You can skip doing it. You can just knit all stitches as needed if it's too complicated. So now we have 12 stitches. And now we will be knitting one more row around. Uh, try to make stitches on a smaller size here because the opening was pretty big. Now you can make it a little bit tighter. And after making this row, we will actually fold this circle in half. Here we are. The tail, actually, guys, are very important. It shows you where you start your row. See? It shows that this is your first stitch of a new row. So it should be here in the middle uh, in this opening, but it's, it is your marker. So what do we do now? We are folding the uh, coat uh, in half, like that. And now we will keep knitting. So see, the stitch was knitted, so we're going to the next one. And we will be knitting uh, around only uh, with the coat folded in half. What the, does it do? It makes stitches close to each other, and you will not have big gap in between. Then when you're done with this part, you're flipping it on another part, and then you're simply knitting the next uh, half of the circle. So here we are. A look at this is our still our marker. It shows where the row starts. And now we actually need only three rows after the cast on. So see this chain? This is cast on. Now let's see. One, two, three. That's all we need, guys, because there is not a really long uh, connection or long area in between of doggy's uh, neck and leg, legs, front legs. So what are we doing now? We will be now making uh, openings for the dog's uh, legs. So see there is a little bit of dirty spot here. If you see something like that on the yarn, it doesn't mean yarn is a bad quality. It just means that there is a little spot that can be trimmed because uh, Chanel yarn is very fluffy. See, I just trimmed it. This little spot that was dirty, I don't know why uh, it's gone. There is another one. So now we are making dogs, uh, areas for dogs' legs. So how we are doing it? So we will be, see this is our marker. 
we will be knitting next two stitches together. So this stitch is needed. Next two stitches, we're knitting them together. So we kind of decreased, okay? Then next stitch, simply knitting. Next stitch, knitting. And one, two, three. No, 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 uh, sorry. So we knitted two together, one stitch, and then next two stitches we're knitting together. So here we are. So we have three stitches here now, guys. This one is from here, just open it, okay? So here you go. So we finished the back, we're adding two extra stitches, okay? Now we are making a stitch here, and then we're knitting these two. Here we are. We needed three stitches. We need to go back because we uh, need extra row. One, two, three. Okay. So now we need to connect these two stitches. So this guy will go inside of this guy. So here we are. We connected this. So we have opening for the leg. Now knit this in the middle. Knit this stitch and now add two more stitches the same we did over here one and two go here and here we already have the same uh, amount of rows so this stitch will just simply go in inside of this one to connect it here's the second opening for the leg and now we will just simply knit all the way around for five more rows, guys. Again, this is uh, here we need to add more stitches. Remember, we added two more stitches. So we are simply knitting this or adding them, whatever you, you want to uh, call it. See, we have two stitches here. Then simply keep knitting around and two stitches around uh, on the top of this area, two stitches above one leg and two stitches about one, another leg opening. And then we keep knitting around for five rows. That's the size that works for my dog. Uh, again, he's about 25 pounds, uh, American Cocker Spaniel. So if your dog is a similar size, that, it, that will work for you too. Uh, it's a Beagle. Uh, is about the same size. Uh, Cavalier, this little cute funny dog. Uh, so anything between 22 and 26 should work. Pounds. So we need to need four, five rows after this opening, okay? Because we need to leave the area for the dog to go to the bathroom on his stomach or her stomach. So one, two, three, four, and we will go one more around because it should be five rows, guys, okay? And then we will uh, separate this uh, dog coat in two. Uh, we will leave a shorter part for the stomach and we will make a longer part to cover his back or her back. Okay, so this one is still our marker, guys. See, this is where we're starting our row, so that's where we will try to finish it. We should have five row, uh, rows. One, two, three, four, five. So this will be our last row. And the this is our measure, a measurement, or <clears throat> this is our marker showing where the row starts. So this is the inside part of the dog bed. See, there's two opening for the dog legs. This is the neck. So what are we doing now, guys? We will need to cast off here, and we will need to cast off these five stitches. This all stitches will stay uh, for the back, okay? So we, this one is knitted already. You're taking these two stitches and knit them together. Then two more, two more into one, and two more into one. So all together, we casted off five stitches. Here we are, see? So we, uh, we keep 
working with our back for the dog bed now. Here we are. This is the last stitch. So now we are going back and forth for four more rows, guys, okay? So we are simply knitting this, guys. You can skip the first stitch or you can knit it. It doesn't matter. I guess it's uh, something that will be on the side of the dog bed, okay? It will not be on his back this this will be back and these two stitches will be on the side so um, make sure that it's four rows because if you make five it will cover his tail and uh, it probably will not be really comfortable for the dog so here we are i think we have four rows after we cast on let's see oh we skip the stitch okay so we will need to, here we are. So let's see, it was here. One, two, three, four. Yep, it's four rows, guys. I think, no, I think it's three rows. We need to make one more. So four rows after we cast off the uh, the stomach okay so now we will be done so here we are see this is the opening this is the dog's legs this is the dog tummy and this is the opening for the dog to go to the bathroom so now we can cast off just take two stitches together and knead them together and then the next two together and cast off all these uh, stitches like that. Don't miss any. Okay, and here's the last one. Don't miss this one because I missed it on the bottom. <coughs> Here we are. So now we can cut. Now we can make a knot on the end to prevent unraveling. Cut the tail. The tail goes inside this last stitch, pull, and then you can just go underneath any of this chain a few times, and you can weave in the end on the back, okay? Here we are. So this is the top, guys, see? It's just like one tube. Uh, and this is the bottom. Let's uh, hide this guy. So to hide this guy, we will simply go to cover this uh, opening underneath, inside the uh, tube or dog uh, coat. And now you can simply tuck in this tail anywhere you want. I will go one more time over here and over here, here, to connect it nicely. Then we're on the back and here you can just tuck it in. You can sew it if you want with a needle and thread. It's up to you or you can just tuck it in like that and it will be here. So here we are. This is the uh, inside part. So this is the openings for the legs, and this one is opening for the tummy, and this part will cover dog's uh, back. So here we are, it's pretty easy, doable project. You will uh, use uh, about one skein, maybe even a little bit less. Uh, so this is baby pink, you can find it at becozy.net. We have about uh, 47 colors of solid color and 24 colors of uh, the variegated. So go to becozy.com, becozy.net, uh, get this yarn and make this dog bed for your uh, furry friend. Stay moment, becozy.
Hey guys, my hand knitting book is ready for you to purchase. It can be purchased at Becozy.com and on Amazon and also available as a e Kindle. It's a perfect gift for yourself or your loved one. It's the most unique uh, gift and book on the knitting market.